Hi, my lovely friends. My God, you know what I was just about to do, guys? Oh, my God, you'd laugh. You know, I've been saying bloody... <laughs> um, what was I saying? I can't even fucking... I'm sorry, I've had such a long day. I was saying um, FERPA. <laughs> Including the, the FUPA and the Sherpa in one word. Well, hey, you guys. Oh, hey, well. So, I just sat down. I went to do it. And I started talking, I said a couple of words and I thought, I don't even remember if I clicked start recording button. (laughs) I looked and it wasn't. So thank God I didn't bloody record the whole thing because I give you guys my first hand reaction. I don't want to do a double reaction. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's like the next one's not going to be as sincere because I've already seen it. Anyway. I found that funny. That's how tired I am. Um, it's a it's a really late. Me reacting today is really late. I've had a really busy day, which is good. But um, I have been thinking of you all. I want to first and foremostly thank you so much for everyone who's subscribing. All my new subscribers, thank you so much. Um, I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are going to enjoy coming along for the ride with us all. Uh, we are all friendly. We are all lovely. So if you want to ask any questions or whatever, just leave them in the comments below. If I don't get to them, my subscribers will answer them. So that's good. And thank you for always um, inboxing me on my Instagram, sending me little things about Alexandra. If I can't get to it, like you'll show me this or look, this video is up. Maybe you want to react to this or look at this photo and, you know, you guys keep me updated. So I really do appreciate it. it it's not just my channel. It's our channel. All right, guys, thank you so much. I just wanted to make sure that I tell tell you all that I really appreciate you. All right, I cannot wait to see how her hair is going to be because I would have a field day doing her hair. I love doing hair that has lots of regrowth. Okay, so hair appointment, spring Amazon haul, day in my life vlog. Oh, 23 minutes. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was shorter for some reason. Anyway, okay. Welcome back to a new vlog. We are heading out to get the hair done today. I'm super excited. Like my Hallelujah. You're not the only one that's excited. Everyone else is excited too. We're sick of looking at you like that. I mean, sick of looking at you either way, but at least it's a, it's a bit easier it's on the eye when you have your hair done. My hair has been growing so fast just the last couple years taking prenatals while we were trying to get pregnant. And I feel like the roots have just been coming in so quickly. And then when they come in quickly, when I put my hair up, which is pretty often... No, you just used to get your hair done more often than now. That's why your hair, you used to get it done a lot more often than you did now. It's not not just because your hair is growing fast. Even if your hair does grow fast, you still have the same amount of regrowth that you have that you're talking about now. So you still could have had it done way earlier than this. And it ends up looking really dark. I don't really mind, but there is nothing better than a blonde refresh. But I also know I'm not the only one who, when they get their hair done, they need to do full makeup. I cannot appreciate. Oh my god, she goes through this every single time she goes to get her hair done. She says the same fucking thing about having to have a full ma- face of makeup. We can't even look at her like this. She can't even look at herself in the mirror like that. How the fuck? Oh my god, so I reckon we all deserve a medal and an award for watching her videos because seriously, she has to put makeup on to look at herself in the mirror. She can't sit there with her makeup looking at herself because she knows how foul she looks with those pimples. The hair, if I don't have on like a full glam. And the five chins. So I'm even going to put lashes on it I never do anymore. Oh, that primer smells so weird and it's not old. It's like pretty new. The Laura Mercier. Perfecting. Oh, stinky. I'm going to go in with the house labs today, which I kind of... Does it annoy anyone else the way she puts it right on her skin? She puts it on the... Like, at least dot it on the back of your hand or dot it on the um, the actual beauty blender. Oh, it's just annoying. To, to me, it's really annoying how she just pumps it onto her actual skin. I forgotten to reach for. If you don't like the makeup portion of this, I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera. I just wanted to come on and intro the vlog and let you guys know. That is something that I would, um, see how thick that foundation is? That is something that I would putty the wall up with. Now we call it putty here. I don't know if you call it stucco or what you call it in America or Canada or wherever you guys are from that you're listening to, but something like that. I would never, not that I have the need to put that on my face anyway, because I have clear skin. But um, even if 
I mean, I never have, but even if I did have pimples, I don't think I would use anything this thick. It looks like it is just so fucking thick. I mean, really, it's 110% coverage. Like, if she put this on right and you went and you scraped your nail down her cheek, imagine how much shit you'd get off. She just wears so much fucking foundation. Such a heavy foundation. Know what we're up to today. But you know what? I appreciate it because it's better than looking at her fucking skin. I've been doing like a very natural makeup with my yeah. color time. This, this is natural, guys. This is natural. It's SPF, but it's so nice to get like that full coverage. Oh, sorry. She's not referring to this. I thought she was referring to this one. No, she, she actually said it's full coverage. I feel like it matches my neck really well. This is the House Labs Triclone, and it's in the shade 100 Light Neutral. And this morning, I was just editing um, Thursday's vlog, which will already be up when you guys are watching this one. And we're actually going to visit some of Yara's relatives this weekend, the ones with the super cute little baby girl. So I'm so excited to go and see them. Oh my god, how much foundation is that? And that's lighter than her neck. I mean, I know she'll end up bronze because she puts 15 fucking layers of bronze on and contour. So she's going to end up bronzed. But fucking, I'm telling you guys, for the my new subscribers, has anyone else, anyone else heard of Marcel Marceau? Please look him up. That's what she reminds me of and I always refer to her as Marcel Marceau when she does this. It is fucking ridiculous. We're bringing the dog and I think our dogs are going to get along so well. They have like a golden doodle and I think Bruno gonna love playing with him because they'll send us videos of him and they totally act the same oh, there's nothing like a full glam we when you haven't here we go here's coming the bronze is coming done it in a while makes you really appreciate the bronzer stick again <laughs> i do have a return to bring to target and a return to bring of course you do she is a fucking pain in the ass this bitch she's a real fucking pain in the ass and by the way that still does not blend into her neck it's still a completely different color um she's a real pain in the ass if I worked at the places where I'd see her all the time, I would moan and roll my eyes until I fell out of my head every time I saw her coming, this fucking pain in the ass. Fucking hell, another return. You mean to tell me they don't say that behind her back? Come on. Bring to USPS. But whether we she still has not mentioned anything about getting her blue loop lips checked. She hasn't even acknowledged anyone telling her that she needs to go and get her blue lips checked. So she really doesn't fucking give a shit. She really doesn't. Couldn't care less. Do that today or tomorrow is a mystery. All right, let's speed through the rest of this makeup. The only reason I kept her on was because I thought she might be saying something. Because fresh. Saying something with hearing, but she she never says anything with hearing really. Okay. This is someone else. I'm like, and I oh, love it. I am trying not to go, keep going back in that bloody music. Let me see. And a half hours later. Okay, you guys, I am back home. We all know getting your hair done is like an all-day affair. It is almost six, and I I'm not saying anything until she puts her head forward because I can't see it properly. I am in love with it. It is fresh. It is. Okay, it's still not done how the other people used to do it. It's still not done. They've tried to give her a money piece. This money piece here is thicker than that one. They haven't gone all the way up to her roots with her foils. Um, and that's just really, really chunky. And it just doesn't look, the colour just doesn't look even there. Let me just, let me have a good look at it. Tone to bleach and tone, as they say on TikTok. Um, and we did like a slightly brighter money piece in the front. And yeah. It looks so good. No. It still does not look as good as the the older people that used to do it for her. Her older hairdressers were much better than these people. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I was so pooped last night. Didn't end up vlogging. And I'm pretty sure my camera even died when I was showing you guys my hair last night. Uh, when I got oh, isn't that funny? It's so hilarious to laugh at. Oh, um, but we just ended up eating leftovers and watching Buying Beverly Hills. Really good season. She's eaten. She's had something to eat. She's already starting to clear her fucking teeth with her um, her tongue. Yeah, here is my hair today. The blowout actually held up pretty well overnight, but I do, I love how we do Yeah, that looks all right when you do it like that. But when you part it in the middle, the color's not even, love. It's not even. That's why she has it on the side. A little bit brighter in the front. Mm. And like she does a little root tap to make the grow out look better. But oh, just so good. So we're heading uh. down. 
No, it's not so good. It really isn't. The other people used to do so much of a better job. Even their, the root tap is not as good as the other people. I'm going to visit um, one of your family members for a couple days, and we're leaving tomorrow. So I need to fold laundry today, pack, make sure I have everything for Bruno, and yeah, super excited to just get away for a few days. Fuck, guys, she's put weight on. She has really put weight on. Her face is going to blow. It's almost getting to that size of her wedding. Do you remember her wedding and how big her face was? She's almost getting to there, I reckon. And have some quality family time. Uh, I do have a very small Amazon haul that I've been accumulating and everything has now officially come in. So I figured I would do my little... Oh, fucking hate this. I hate that. It's so fucking ugly. And it so doesn't suit her house. And those beads, I want to smash them over her head fucking hate them oh with some good like spring finds and just stuff i would have ordered regardless <laughs> okay first and foremost i have been dying for a pair of sambas i think they're so cute i am definitely i say whatever they are it must be tiktok related and it must be a viral thing going around because she only wants the latest thing that's in because she's a sheep like like so many other people who just follow what everyone else gets. All the time. I'm a trend follower. I love following a good trend. So. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did you just hear her? Tell me I don't fucking know her inside out. Tell me I don't know her inside out. She loves following a good trend. Yeah. But you, you are brainless. You have no brain of your own. You're an actual moron and you just follow people. You follow people like a sheep. Judge me if you want. It's what I like. And I think they look so. I will. Let me see them, but I'm sure I'll judge them because I've never seen anything that. I, I'm assuming they're shoes. So I've never seen a pair of shoes that she's got on that I actually like. So, so cute. You guys know over the last like year or so, I started loving like dresses with sneakers, um, especially in like spring and summer. I think it's really casual but cute. So I finally grabbed a pair. I just ordered them through Amazon because I love that <laughs> quick ship. I actually ordered a pair of men's. So, fun little fact. I mean, I think everyone kind of knows this. Um, if you have wide feet, um, you can just order men's. So I got a men's 8.5, which is a women's 10. And how freaking... Hang on, guys. I'm calling my husband in for this. Hey, Tony. Come in for a minute, please. They are a dupe of a brand that we used to wear when we were young. And I can't remember the brand. And to her, she thinks this is something. Come in, come in. Come in, you're not on camera. I haven't got... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Have a look at their shoes. What are they a dupe of? Remember we used to wear them when we were younger? What brand was it? Uh, Is it Puma? What well, Adidas? Uh, looks like they had three stripes of red on them. It's, yeah. Adidas? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. So these are called Samba. God knows how much he paid for them. I'm going to look them up now. That is a dupe for... you guys. We call it Adidas here. You guys call it Adidas. I actually think you guys say it correctly and Australians say it wrong. <laughs> Uh, let me just have a look. Uh, they're nothing special. I don't, I'm not even a particular fan of Adidas. Oh, okay. They're called Samba. Samba OG, but they they are um, Adidas, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, Adidas Originals. So she should have, instead of just saying Adidas Sneakers... We call them runners here. They are Adidas and they're in Australia. They're $180. I can see the pair she's got. The pair she's got there is $200 um, in Australia. Nothing spectacular at all. Nothing spectacular. They're nice. Are they nice? Yeah, they're okay. Um, they're men's because she bought them in a wide fit. But I knew they were Adi Adidas. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it Adidas. It just feels really funny me saying Adidas cute are these i am so in love i love the green it's got a little no. bit of gray they're more of a men's shoe i know they're actually men's she got this because it's a men's size but all in all i find them to be very manly looking and i like it when men wear them but i, I don't particularly like i don't like them at the top and i like how the samba accent here is in gold so yeah i just i think does this fucking dumb bitch realize that they're actually adidas she's just going on about samba it's just a name they've given them. These are so stylish, so cute for spring. Ooh. Lately, I've been living in my New Balances, so I'm excited to have a different pair to mix it up, and my New Balances are all very... Oh, fuck off. You've got 500 fucking pairs with all the bullshit that you buy. You mean to tell me you've only got two pairs that you go to and fro from? My ass. 
neutral. So I love that these have a little pop of color, but like subtle. Because oddly enough, I feel like you can mix green with a lot, you know? Okay, and then also <laughs> I've been on a hat kick. I do find it funny. Please, she's gonna annoy me, guys. She's irritating me before she's even fucking showing me these hats. Yeah, I used to not like trucker hats. And what do you know? Because you fucking look like a trucker. That's why you like trucker hats. You fucking look like one. No offense to the truckers out there. But you know when the truckers sit down all day and do nothing and that's how they gain weight? Those those poor guys. I mean, you know. That's what she fucking looks like a trucker. You look like a trucker. I like trucker hats now. Probably because I see everyone wearing them looking super cute. Of I course you do. Because you again, once again, you're a what? Follower, Alexandra. Follower. You have nothing, nothing unique to yourself. Again, not ashamed to admit I love following a trend, but I think they're so yeah, adorable. We know, we know you do. I always loved baseball hats anyway, but I never used to really like the like oh, netted back. I will say. Oh my God, are you fucking serious? They are horrible. Excuse me for a minute, guys. Sorry. Um, Tony, sorry, love. Could you please turn the um, food off that I'm cooking? Yeah, thank you. Sorry, guys. I was just cooking dinner and it's just ready to be turned off. All right. Let's get back onto this ugly trucker hat thing. I don't mind trucker hats, but I don't like them on people like her. It's not going to suit her. It's just going to make her more masculine, more manly, and she's going to look more stupid than she really They is. are nice for um, ventilation. They are less hot, which is perfect for spring and summer. So first, I got this one that says, have a nice oh day, God. and then it has the brand logo right here. This is super nice quality. I love this one. It's just like so easy to throw on. Oh my God, it's fucking ridiculous. It looks like something that... And I love Chevy Chase. It looks like something Chevy Chase would give his family member to wear and everyone would laugh at it. Which is perfect for spring and summer. So first, I got this one. It doesn't even look that bad off, right? But when she puts it on, it just looks fucking horrendous. It says, have a nice day. And then it has the brand logo right here. This is super nice quality. I love this one. It's just like so easy. Oh my God, that looks ridiculous on her. It looks ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe it's because that's got coloring on it as well different coloring but i just hate the hat it's stupid easy to throw on and just i don't know feel kind of cute and put together and then how cute is this green you never look cute and you never ever look put together one with the samba just like even with jeans and a white tee like so simple but like so cute this one just says joe's surf shop here oh my i love it it's so simple God. i did order another one that hasn't come yet it's like a longer shipping she won't she didn't put that on did she because she saw how dumb she looked with the first one on so i'll show you it when it comes in it's kind of funny so yeah i definitely want to like plan a cute outfit with this oh, little combo god she planned that guys she planned that fucking outfit when she bought the shoes let's buy a hat to match oh she's such a fucking loser deal okay i grabbed an apron i have one apron and she has seen better days um, apron? what the fuck do you need an apron for heifer what do you need an apron for all your cooking because you cook so much cheap i've had for a long time and it's just neutral so i wanted to grab one with a pattern and i just thought this looked very very anthropology-esque i'll link all this down below and oh, when you click on this apron oh they my have god it's one of those it looks like a tea towel it looks like a tea towel already and i can tell you it's already looking horrendous it looks like one of those um beautiful like a lot of my beautiful italian friends that something their mother would wear Something their mother, like they're about 77, maybe 78, maybe even 80. They're cooking in the Italian kitchen and they've got this um, thing on. Let's have a look. Had a bunch of really beautiful designs. Um, so depending if you want something a little less busy or not, but they had so many cute options. Like, are you <gasps> kidding me? This is the cutest. Oh my God, is she fucking serious? Is she serious? You know, if it was just these, I wouldn't mind them because they're actually quite nice. But with the fruit in there, it just reminds me of something a nonna would wear. Nonna is grandma in Italian. It just reminds me of something an old lady would wear. Is she trying to be mothery? Is that why she's trying to buy this shit? Or she's just clearly got bad fucking taste? thing ever. I am in love with this design. I think I'm definitely stepping into a more motherly aesthetic. Oh, no. I just don't fucking believe it. Sometimes I shock myself with how well I know how she thinks. I think how she thinks. Um, not in my everyday life. When I'm watching the vlog, I know what she is fucking thinking. I knew she was thinking that because that's a real mothery apron. I used to just love all neutrals and... I don't know, really crisp and clean and simple, but now I'm kind of into like little pops of color, designs, patterns. So 
I think this is so cute. I think it's absolutely adorable. I love like all the fruit on it. Flowers, the patterns, the colors, and I just feel like it's... God, God. I mean, the apron itself is not ugly. But for someone her age to buy an apron like that, fuck off. How old are you? Fucking 75, 80? So springy and cozy. No, and I taste just, like, it all. Cook in this. Let's talk hydration. Your girl has one 40 oh, ounce no. tumbler. No, 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 no. Don't fucking tell me. She's bought another. She's bought another one. The Stanley situation actually really freaked me out. We no longer have our Stanleys. So you got rid of your Stanleys before the lead thing came in. So stop talking fucking bullshit. You are such a liar, Alexandra. I remember certain things. I have a very bad memory, guys, right? But when I say very bad memory, it's as if I'm, tr I'm trying to get a word out and I can't find the name for that word. I literally have menopause fog brain and it's terrible. I hate having it. But I don't remember. I remember everything this fucking bitch does. Everything she buys and everything she's bought and when she does and what she doesn't do and what she throws away and what she gives away and what she keeps and what she says she donates. Now, this heifer, when someone said to her, asked her about his Stanley Cups. She actually said it in one of the vlogs. Oh, I've given all my Stanley Cups away. You guys saw it with me. Oh, I've given them away. I gave it some to family members and um, yeah, that's what she said. She just gave them away because she didn't like that when she bent over or tilted her hand, the liquid would, would um, drain from the Stanley Cup and she couldn't stand that. So now she's making out and thinking that we've all forgotten it's on one of the vlogs, mind you. She's thinking that we've all forgotten that she said that. She, we've, you know, just they're not going to remember that. She's thinking, I'll just tell them this is that's why I got rid of my Stanley. But why fucking lie? You got rid of your Stanley ones because it was leaking. Fair enough. Say that. Don't fucking come around, you fucking lying heifer, and tell us now. Just don't make up a story and say you're getting rid of it because of the lead. Because you got rid of your Stanley cups way before this lead bullshit thing came out. So I bought this Hydro Flask one here, um, and I think it's really great, 40 ounce. Oh, fuck, man. How many how many flasks does someone need? Seriously, how many flasks does someone need? Shouldn't have any lead from my research. And you want to know what's funny, too? Yar was always like a Hydro Flask and Yeti person, even before the whole Stanley craze. And honestly, I feel like the Hydro Flask and the Yeti are like the best ones in my opinion and then the lid just pops off isn't that amazing and when you had the stanley cup you couldn't you couldn't wait to just try and tell everyone to go and buy the stanley cup because they were so fucking amazing and now all of a sudden these are the best because you've got them it doesn't screw on which is another great thing so yeah I, I have a water with me all the time this is the brand that i have now i don't need like a million tumblers but when this one's dirty it would be nice to have just another option i got this one when that one's dirty you fucking wash it you don't need another one you're just fucking lazy. NPR. It's from a brand called Takeya. Uh, 40 ounce. I love that the bottom is silicone when you set it down. It's not like clunky. This is honestly like a really good one. I probably should have just bought another one of this brand. Um, I don't know. So if you wanted the brand, I'll leave both of them. I love this one. Like I said, that silicone bottom is so freaking nice. And I feel like it just works really well. And it's cute and light blue. So we love it. Oh, the holy grail. The holy grail. Did that look blue to you guys? Did that fucking look like light blue to you at all? If you watch the Florida vlogs, these shorts, <laughs> these are shorts, these shorts. I have them in pink and black and watered the white. I hope they're not sold out yet for you guys to grab. These athletic shorts, catch me in them all summer, period. Especially as the pregnancy bu What's fucking new? You're always in shorts all summer and winter anyway. Oh God, she's going to mention the pregnancy imaginary bump. Bump grows. Mm. What is the best about these? This band is so thick and long. It's so stretchy. This is so silky, soft. Like, I don't know, the fabric just feels very cooling and refreshing. And it has a double layer. So the shorts underneath, like these might ride up because that's thick life in a nutshell. But then there's a flowy short over it. That's your life in a nutshell. That will ride up because of the fat in between your thighs and your legs. That's why they ride up. So if they're even, even if they're riding up, the front flowy short part doesn't ride up. I took a walk with my mom in these every morning on vacation and they did not ride up. Um, I do. And did you see your dad when you went on vacation, Alexandra? Did you go see your pedophile father? Now we know what you do there every fucking Florida. Did you give him some of your money as well? I can't believe she actually pays. Well, it was written somewhere that she, um, she clearly admitted that she pays for her father. Oh, not pays for him. She, you know, helps him out with money. But when her mum goes out, she struggles to get her mum a $15 hat. No, but get your PDF file father something. Yep, that's that's really intelligent. Recommend probably sizing up because these are a 3X. They look more like a 2X in my opinion. They are extremely stretchy though. Oh my so God, he goes, she's stretching them again like those underpants. Oh, do it that way you will. These are the 3X. I love them. I have the black 
pink and now white. They're definitely giving free people on a budget. Oh, oh I'm fuck off you and these fucking free people. Fuck right off with them. I'm overhearing about them. So excited about this. I'm so excited about this. This is so freaking cute. I actually want to set this up right now. And this to her was a small Amazon haul and she's still going. Ah, oh, this is going to make me cry. I wanted to put the sonogram in something. And I found this little countdown calendar on Amazon. They had so many options, but I liked this one so much. So it's like a picture frame. thought I broke it. I did not. Um, and it has X amount of weeks until we meet you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I understand she's excited. But she goes too, too far sometimes. This is just extra added fucking bullshit that you have in your house. You, she could have bought such a, a nicer picture frame and put the sonogram in. I mean, really, does anyone keep a picture of their, the sonogram up around the house even after the baby's born? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, she doesn't know how many days. She's counting every fucking minute till she has this baby. Like, she needs a fucking calendar to tell her how many days to see the baby. Little one, and then you put the sonogram picture right here. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, how many weeks? How many weeks until September 29th? All right, 24 weeks. Six months exactly. Like, you don't realize when you're younger that you um are pregnant for like a full 40 weeks like you know you always say 36 weeks i just feel like that's what you always hear but no it's like it's 40 it's 40 because it's like i'm four months pregnant but i have six months to go you got 10 months i think because when you find out you're technically four weeks you know so it's oh kind of funny but all right so cute let me let me pop the little the most recent sonogram we have okay i gotta finagle it a little bit but i think this is so adorable and then every week we can like change the countdown because it feels like it feels like christmas doing a little christmas countdown all right this is gonna bother me i, I gotta put this in perfectly and show you <laughs> okay here it is in all its glory until we get our next ultrasound but you can see his little face i posted that picture before but isn't this cute i just ran out so trying a new little lippy here this is the laneige lip glowy balm glow oh i just love it and then guys for your purse or your it just looks like you've got fucking oil on your lips she pays like 40, 50 bucks from that Laneige to just put fucking something that looks like oil on her lips. Oh, sorry guys. Press the wrong one. Your car. So I usually just buy a cheap pair of slippers like once or twice a year and just wear the crap out of them. <laughs> My cherry ones have- What happened to your Skims ones? I've been long gone. And now I've been wearing my Skims fluffy ones for like a couple months. Oh my God, they're so fucking ugly. They are so- cheapy and tacky looking and they are my winter slippers so i went ahead and grabbed these for a spring summer indoor shoe surprise surprise look at the color house slipper i got this really really cute sage color i love like sage green i feel like i'm gonna want to incorporate that that doesn't look like a sage green it just looks like fucking neutral like you always get your beige boring sage green is different to that color in some way in our uh son's room i just i really like sage but we'll see anyway they're like a really nice waffle fabric so they're not gonna make your feet like hot and they are super cushiony memory foam uh you need more cushion than that alexandra you wear them for three fucking days before you'll break the heel on those um, and then your feet can also breathe because they're just like a slide anti-slip on the bottom i just think they're absolutely freaking perfect the perfect spring summer house slipper i don't know if i'm gonna wear makeup today just because i am gonna be in the house <laughs> And she used the color, I don't know, really good on her after cool anymore, hopefully one day. Listen, a couple days ago when it was like, literally in the sun, it felt like 80. I went out and like tanned on the porch for a little bit. It was the day I didn't vlog. I put sunscreen on. I like just laid out, listened to a podcast <laughs> and I just love it. I love laying in the sun, but it gets hot. So all my people out there who don't have a pool, but want to lay in the sun and tan and not get hot, just get yourself a little mini tanning pool. Do you think you're going to fit in that? I don't think she's going to fit in that. That is fucking ridiculous. A mini tanning pool. Talk about fucking desperation. Just go to the fucking pool. Just go to the pool. And where's she going to put that? It's not going to fit on the decking. She'll have to put it outside where Bruno doesn't run in the backyard. A tanning. Oh, my God. Alexandra. Alexandra. A tan is the least thing you should be worried about. It's the least thing you should be worried about, love. The least thing. Fuck. This was on sale for 25 bucks. I think it's normally like 40 to 50. Hopefully it's still on sale when I post this. But look at it. Just look. Yeah, it's fucking ugly and it's a waste of space. It's just fucking ridiculous. A tanning pool. 
Oh my god, a tanning pool. I have never heard of anything so ridiculous in all my life. <laughs> so it's the perfect individual size. You just put water in the bottom. It has like a head. Can you guys imagine her getting in and out of that? Can you imagine? Oh, what I'd give to be a fly on the wall when she's getting in and out of that. Rest. Um, people rave about this. It has really great reviews. The quality is supposed to be really good. Like I'm just going to plop this on my porch and lay out. <laughs> Where are you going to put it on your porch? There's no fucking room on your porch. The table's taken half of your porch up. you got no room on your porch unless you move the table and the um, umbrella forward, like really, really against the edge of the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, not the decking, the fence. I don't think she'll have room for that on there. I really don't. Listen to some music, have a nice little glass of water, a little lemon water or something, and just enjoy. They have different colors. The cheapest was the blue. I'm like, let's just go for it. Boy mom energy. I don't know. Oh, so fuck you. Go and fuck yourself, boy mom energy. So I just, uh, so I'm really excited to try annoying. this. I'll obviously vlog when I do. You know, it's women like her who make me irritated at, at people being pregnant and going over the top because all you hear is boy mom this, boy mom that, pregnancy this, pregnancy that. Um, my baby this, my baby that. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, by the time you fucking have it, I'm, I'm sick of the baby already. The next hot day, it's on. It's on. So You don't have to mention baby pregnancy or baby this and that in any in every single thing you do. Not in every single thing. Okay, mention it. We know you're pregnant. You're excited. But not in every fucking little thing in your house. You know, every everything she's bringing up. Pregnancy this, pregnancy that. Oh. That's my really random Amazon haul of the month. Let me know if you guys have any good Amazon finds that you found recently. I love sharing these things. And now we must fold laundry. So, let's yeah, that's not going to happen. I am not watching her fold laundry. My God, how boring! Just a legging set with um, an aloe sweatshirt. Uh, that's probably good for like a travel day and then for like the main day i have my favorite pair of pants from the one loved babe boutique and then like this matching oversized t-shirt that just it just matches so well it's been like a go-to outfit lately and it's super comfy also you guys we got bruno a dog bed for in our bedroom he used to sleep in his crate but honestly he's just been sleeping with us now now that he's like potty trained he just loves sleeping in the room with us so he's either on the bed or on this little bed this is from amazon it's so cute it looks like a little couch it's got like quilted and it's a nice um it's ugly just like anything else that you buy fabric that's not too hot because bruno runs hot and it's orthopedic you like your new bed i'm shocked we only had it for a few days oh my god like he i'm telling you it's got like dog power in it no it doesn't any bed you buy something for them they're, they're excited you know how just you get excited here for when you buy something new and you want to put it on they get something they get excited when you buy them a toy or a new bed no matter what that bed looked like he was gonna like it and I think he likes how it has arms because he'll lay his head on the arms. So we put it in here, honestly, not thinking he would lay on it. We're like, we can try it. He likes to be on the bed with us or he'll go into the bathroom to cool down on the tile floor. <laughs> That's kind of like his little uh, routine. But uh, yeah, I'm surprised you don't lay next to him to cool down. <laughs> we got up. We both got up in the night to pee and we both look over and we're like, oh my God, he's on the bed. <laughs> and we were so excited. He loves it. Honestly, I was really surprised. I didn't think he would like it because like when we try new dog beds, he just... He likes what he likes and new things he usually doesn't care about. So I'll link the dog bed too because there's something magical in it. Okay, so need to pack. Oh my God, her lips are so fucking blue. They are so blue. That is so not normal. My toiletry bag. I'm not going to bring anything dramatic. Like I'm going to probably bring my really simple natural makeup routine that I've been doing with the tinted SPF, like super quick and simple. Okay, so this is my wildly simple routine that I'm gonna pack for our little trip. In something she's trying to say is really bougie her Louis Vuitton bag, which is so fucking ugly. It is so ugly. I hate anything Louis Vuitton. I can't stand it. This moisturizer, as you can see, it's getting it pretty low. This is great. Okay. Guys, the Ole Hendrickson. Bruno and I are taking a walk. The beauty is that it's like 5.30. So we're going to have a late dinner. She tries to take it from this angle because she is so petrified and scared that people know where she lives. People do know where you live, Alexandra. I'm just letting you know. You think I haven't seen your house, Alexandra? Do you think I haven't seen the front porch and the back and the sides and everything? We've all seen it. We've all seen it. It's not like I'm going to go over to America and start stalking you. you. You can put the fucking camera down. People are not going to stalk you. You're not that fucking popular. As you think I've you got are. a bag of poop in my hand, and for some reason, I there thought you go. poop in. She's got a bag of poop in her hand. She has to mention poop in each and every single video. 
it was a lot colder than it was. And now I'm sweating. <laughs> I had on my Sherpa jacket. Oh, <laughs> and <laughs> Why are you laughing? What the fuck are you laughing for, you moron? Now I have it tied around my waist and I'm sweating. At least I have... You have it tied around your barrel gunt. That's why you have it tied around your barrel. Your stomach is like a barrel. You don't have a waist. So you haven't tied it around your waist. You've tied it around your barrel gun. <laughs> Flip flops on. I know it makes no sense. There's my jacket. Okay, you guys, we just got God. back from our walk and I am cleaning a walk, a walk, the racks in the oven. I just had to show you guys how good this works. Cause like, look at this. I'm not taking any advice from you. I know how to fucking clean. Oh my God. Is this the end of the video? She's so annoying. She's so fucking annoying. Does she think she's Martha Stewart now? She's showing us how to clean a fucking grill. Like we don't know how to use that, the steel. I feel like <laughs> this was how it looked when I put my hair up. <laughs> so, and you think that looks bad? It was fucking worse before. You, you spent two months of us looking at your fucking ugly hair. <laughs> when I started getting hot cleaning the... Stop putting your fucking hand over your mouth. Stop putting your hand over your mouth. God knows where your hand's been. Fire racks. But they look good. They look really good. <laughs> I can't with this. I'm not, I'm not going to fix it. Just, this is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. Yeah, exactly. We know. You, you look like a train wreck every fucking day. So I need to edit this because we leave tomorrow. By the time this goes up on Sunday, we'll already be back home. But I'm really excited to just have a quality time weekend with some of my in-laws who I Translation, I'm not vlogging any of it. That's what she means by I'm looking forward to having quality time with my in-laws. I really love, so it's going to be really nice. I'm just going to kind of unplug and spend some good time. Unplug, there you go. She is so petrified to have them in her, her thing. She doesn't want to have them on camera and shove the face, shove the thing in their camera because, you know, they don't like to be on camera. I bet you she hasn't even asked them if they want to be on camera. I bet you she hasn't. But it's okay that she plasts the baby's faces all over camera and all over Instagram. That's different. She'll blast the baby's faces, but she won't show the parents' faces. That makes sense. Time. So I'm going to end this vlog here so I can edit it so it's ready for this weekend. But thank you for watching. I better not show your father. He might get excited seeing those kids on there. All right, my loves, that's it for this one. Um, I'm going to uplo upload a couple more. I'm going to have dinner and then go through a few more different um, uh, vlogs I want to upload. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you in my next um, upload, I suppose, which will be, like, in the next, I don't know, couple of hours. Um, love to you all. Thank you all again for your support. I appreciate you liking and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next.